Hi guys, welcome to Alpha Physio Pelvic Care. All things pelvic health and pelvic floor, we are talking here. And today, a very practical session. Quite often, I get mums after giving birth, uh, with their vaginal cesarean section, asking me when they can start to exercise, what they can do, what not they can do. And all these things are very valid and very important to know in order not to hurt yourself more and to make sure you're on the right path of exercises. However, quite often, uh, moms are scared or are advised to wait for X amount of weeks. For someone, it can be two weeks, someone can say three weeks. Uh, there is like a six week mark for cesarean section. So there is kind of a timeline to things when you can wait to start to do your exercises. I myself look at the individual separately. I don't give like a standard uh, time frame when you can start to exercise. And therefore, usually that bit before people can start exercises, whenever they decide they can do it, it's kind of void. Most of the time, moms are allowed to walk. Walk and that's about it. They're advised not to do anything. And most of the times they will suffer from back pain, from tension, maybe from some kind of post-birth aches, pains, general body tension that can be related also to, um, to the stress of new motherhood. So today I would like to show you four exercises that can be done from day zero. From day zero, whether you had C-section or whether you had vaginal birth. Now, I would say exercises in an inverted comma because in fact, these are moves that will promote that relaxation, removal of that body tension that might have happened during birth. It will create brain and body connection and it will also promote a, a certain um, blood flow, lymphatic flow around the area of abdominals. So these exercises are not to get you fit immediately. They are not to strengthen your muscle. These are exercises are rather for body and for the soul. A movement that you can do where you can focus on yourself for a few minutes a day and also to help yourself to move and relieve those pains and aches that you might experience post-birth. Most of these exercises are in laying down position, so you don't have to find kind of a special place. You can do them in the bed whenever you have a nap or before you wake up or before you're going to sleep. They are very gentle, so whenever you prefer, you can do them. Remember, these exercises are to promote healing, relaxation, body and brain connection. So let's start with the first one. And the first one is diaphragmatic breathing. It might sound like, huh, I'm breathing anyways. But in fact, most of the moms, because of the abdominal growth and the fetus growth, are getting their diaphragm compressed and not working as effectively as it should and ending up breathing only from the top part of their lungs. So the diaphragm kind of becomes, let's say, a little bit lazy in a sense. It's not recruited that much, it's getting pressed by the fetus. So we need to give it a little bit of a wake up call. So let's start with the diaphragmatic breathing. Now I'm sitting here cross leg it doesn't mean you have to also sit cross leg. You can sit on a chair. You can do this in laying down in any position comfortable. One thing I would like to mention here is all of the exercises and movements we are doing are gentle. They will not harm you or split open the scar if you have a cesarean section, but obviously listen to your body. If it doesn't feel right, if it feels painful, don't do that or choose maybe one exercise that feels okay. But none of these movements are more challenging than everyday moves that mom would do by taking care of a baby. So the first one, let's do our breathing before I start doing it. We would like to try to take nice, slow breath, directing air into the sides of our lungs 
for at least three to four seconds. So we don't want to do fast breath in. We want to do nice and slow breath, like we're breathing through two straws that are placed in our nose, directing air into our lungs, letting our belly relax. And then we just gently let the breath escape through our mouth. Right now, you don't need to engage anything. You don't need to engage your core, especially if you did have cesarean section or you had stitches around your vagina. There is no need to squeeze anything. We just focus on the breathing, on opening our rib cage, and relaxing and closing it. Slowly getting breath into our hands. Keeping our shoulders relaxed, minimal tension through the shoulders and neck and just letting it go slowly through our mouth. Just feel that movement of the ribs and this will be your diaphragm waking up and moving. So you can do this exercise in any position. Exercise number two. Good news, you need to do it in laying down. As you lay down, it can be any time, maybe after you wake up, or you just lay down on the bed so you don't have to get on the floor because it's hard if you just gave birth. Keep your legs parallel, relax your shoulder. I'm having a bit too many pillows here. One, we'll remove one. You can place your hands on your pelvis and here we're just going to make a gentle arch through our low back. So increasing the curve whilst breathing in. And then we gently press the back into the surface whilst breathing out. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Again, we're not engaging anything. We're not squeezing. We're just feeling that back movement forward and back, forward and back. It can be a great wake me up exercise in the morning, especially if you feel your back is stiff, which is absolutely fine. It's very gentle. It's nice and slow. You can choose how much arching you want to add. You can start with a little arch and then gentle press down into the surface or later on you can go into the bigger arch. Great. So this is for a low back. Exercise number three, moms, whether it's breastfeeding, bottle feeding, changing babies, our upper back hurts, 100%. So as you lay down onto your side, and if you did have cesarean section, it's fine to lay down onto your side. You can place a pillow between your knees if you need to, can add you a bit more comfort. Place your both hands in front of you. Take nice, deep, slow breath, again, counting till three or four. And open up your arm. Now here, I will tell you that the range is really up to you. You can start with very small range up to here. If you feel that things are pulling, okay, nice deep breath. And then you close. As the weeks and days progresses, you can go into the bigger opening on a breath in, we open. On a breath out, we close. Let the head follow the hand. Breathe in. Nice and open ribs and breathe out. Again, for those first few weeks after birth, we're not contracting anything, engaging. This bit will come later into your post-pregnancy rehab, believe me. And if you do want to check out post-pregnancy rehab program, comment free lesson and I can send you a free lesson from my post-pregnancy rehab program and you can try it. But for now, we're just relaxing, breathing in and breathing out. And of course, we're doing this on both sides. And now we're getting to our fourth exercise. Again here, I'm sitting in crossed leg. You can sit on a chair or you can stand. This exercise, you have to be upright. And here we're aiming to 
all pin up the sides of our lungs and to add stretch to our back. So we're going to breathe in and stretch, 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 open up the side. Now here, I'm gently also helping myself into the stretch with the left hand by pushing, but you don't have to do that. You just breathe in and reach over, breathe out and relax. If you did have a episiotomy, you might even find that this exercise is easier to do in standing. You don't have to sit and compress episiotomy. If you did have a cesarean section, probably easier in sitting. And you can start this literally in the clinic, slowly and gently. If you feel that lifting one arm is too much, you can always do a bit of a lift. Breathing in, lift, breathe out, relax. So all the things you're going to do, reach up for the cupboards, reach up for the things, all these are functional and this is a very gentle exercise to start to stretch that front line to get you upright because many moms are arching forward as a protective reaction so just sitting down just focusing on the movement and just moving your arms side to side can help you to overcome this slouchness, this closed posture because of pain. And remember, if there is a lot of pain, talk to your doctor, talk about painkillers. It's absolutely fine to take painkillers after birth, after operation, see what's compatible with the breastfeeding, with your situation, or to make sure there is no any other issues going on. So if there is a lot of pain, talk to your doctor. But this kind of movement shouldn't cause any major issues. So those were four exercises to do from the day zero after giving birth. Let me know if you try them. If you find this video useful, don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel. I will be very happy to post more tips, all things pelvic health, post-pregnancy rehabilitation. If you have more questions, you can pop them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Have all lovely day. Bye-bye.